this done, I don't have to do it again. Uh, well, until we get a new book. <laughs> okay, so here we go. F of x is going to be our basic function. So little f is the basic. And then big F is the transformation, or the transformed function. That's the one I want to graph. Now, by the way, you don't have to set up a t-bar chart, some of you, to do the easier transformations. Because what, what does this tell me to do? To go up three. So could I take each coordinate point and move each coordinate point up three? or left or right. I mean, that, that would be an easy thing to do. So you wouldn't have to do a two-bar chart, but we're going to do it anyway. So this guy says that if I want to list the transformation, this is just up three. So that says to list the transformation, the basic function is just the table. Or you could say the graph. On a problem like this, I'm not going to ask you what the basic function is. But that's essentially what it is. And then it says, what is the transformation? The transformation is up 3, which means I want to take the y values and add 3 to all the y values. This is where I need two projectors. One to project the graph and one to project the coordinate points. That's <coughs> why so we have to depend upon you guys. So here's my table. Those are the coordinate points. I wrote them down for you. And I went and I took these points here. Because if I'm doing a dot to dot, how would I graph this guy? I'd go from dot to dot, right? And so that's why I chose those coordinate points, because in the end, I'm going to look at him the same way and go to, he's going to look the same. The only difference would be he may be narrower, he may be wider, he may be taller, he may be shorter, he may be flipped upside down. But he's still going to look the same. So that what it says to do is to add 3 to all the y values. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is 1, 1, 5, 1, and then that's my new. So I no longer need that guy. That's my new set of coordinate points. And I expect him to do what? Stay the same, exactly the same, but he's going to be moved up three units. So here we go. Negative 4, positive 1. Negative 4, positive 1. Negative 2, positive 1. 2, 5, four, boring, positive one. And now you're going to go from left to right. Connect the dots. This is the graph of the basic plus three. And you notice, this is where you can tell for sure that he is up three units from point to point. 